In this video, I am going to be guiding you through Chapter 5.4, Statement of Financial Position. Here are the syllabus statements. So what is a statement of financial position? What it does is that it records the value or worth of a business in a period of time, usually at the end of the year. And this consists of non-current assets, current assets, non-current liabilities and current liabilities. More on this later on. I'm going to give you an individual's example of their assets and liabilities. So to the left in the green here is this person's assets. So we have $100,000 in Bitcoin, a million dollars in property, $100,000 in stocks and shares, $50,000 in cash, $300,000 in gold and $450,000 in land. And this person's total assets is $2 million if you add them all together. But at the same time, the same person has a $100,000 credit card bill and $500,000 bank loan, which equates to $600,000. So if we add them together, this person's net worth is... 1.4 million dollars so this is their assets minus their liabilities so this is for an individual basis so what about a business so first key term is a current asset so what is a current asset an asset is used up by a business within 12 months of an accounting period so within one year and it, it is used to pay immediate debts and also running costs. So some examples of current assets are cash, inventory, and accounts receivable. So accounts receivable are essentially money paid to you by people that owe you money. These people are called debtors. Our next keyword is non-current assets. So non-current assets are physical assets that are kept and used for more than a year and the value of these usually depreciate over a period of time. And some examples include machinery, equipment, buildings and land. Moving on to liabilities. Liabilities are the amount of money owed to external creditors. So this is the money that you owe people. Current liabilities. The money owed to external providers for short-term finance. Usually, this is for creditors or accounts payable. So these are the businesses, private individuals that you owe money to, an overdraft, and your credit card bills. Non-current liabilities are money owed to external providers for using long-term finance, so usually over a year. These include long-term bank loans, mortgages, and debentures. So now we move on to the importance of working capital. The formula is current assets minus current liabilities. Now what does this mean? So the importance of current assets is essentially how we can convert all of our inventory and our accounts receivable, basically money from debtors, into the form of cash. Because cash is the most liquid of assets that a business can get. And then we subtract its current liabilities, essentially all of its debt. So the debt means overdrafts, credit card bills, and the debts that it owes to its creditors. So for an example, that a business is able to achieve $1,000 worth of current assets in the form of cash. However, they have $500 in current liabilities. Some of this will be an overdraft, some of this will be credit card bills and some of this will be accounts payable to creditors. This means that the business has over twice the amount of cash to pay its current liabilities. This means that they are solvent. Now let's go the other way around. If it only has got, if it only has $500 in cash but $1,000 in current liabilities, this means that it is working at what we call a negative working capital. Now one or two months is okay, but over a long period of time, 
this can lead to business insolvency. So let's interpret a statement of financial position. So in this particular example, let's find out the current assets. So what we do is we add the trade receivables with the cash and also the inventories. So this means that we have a grand total of 10 current assets. And then this at the same time, this business has five in current liabilities. So as you can see here, the current ratio is two to one. It means that this business can pay off its current liabilities twice with its assets. In 2018, it does the same thing. We'll, we'll do the same calculation. So 10 plus 4 plus 5 is 15. And its liabilities are 5. This means that the current ratio is 3 to 1. So it means that this business has enough cash or current assets in order to pay off its current liabilities three times over. So this means that this business has improved its liquidity ratio. Now, moving on to the solved examination questions. Outline two possible reasons why liquidity is important for AHG. Reason one, to ensure that AHG has enough cash to pay its day-to-day -day expenses, such as paying its four managers and 30 other employees. Reason two, to ensure that AHG survives. Having enough liquidity means that the business does not become insolvent and cease trading its garden products. Next, explain two reasons why working capital is important to BW. Reason one, need to pay for day-to-day -day expenses. BW requires enough working capital as it requires to pay its wages, suppliers, and any other unplanned expenses because if they don't do so, the customer service of its cleaning services will be bad. And this is due to low motivation and the inability to buy cleaning materials. Reason two, the business does not run into liquidity problems. This is to avoid cash flow problems. So BW will survive in an event of unexpected expenses because working at a negative working capital will lead to insolvency for BW windows cleaning businesses, as high quality cleaning products cannot be attained, such as detergents, solvents, and window wipers. I hope that was helpful. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye bye.